I'm with the KSL In-Depth a little over two years ago. An Orem woman and her three-year-old son vanished. Emily Almiron's ex-husband shared custody of their son, Gabriel. He contacted police when Emily suddenly disappeared. Detectives contacted Almiron's boyfriend. His name's Christopher Polson. He explained that, well, they've broken up and Emily decided to move to California. There was the claim that he made to the police that he walked in and saw her with drugs on the table and kicked her out for that reason. Well, I believe that was deflection. I believe that what really happened was he changed the roles that actually occurred, and it was obviously her that walked in and caught him with drugs on the table, and he probably reacted adversely and one thing led to another. That's Jason Jensen, a private investigator who spent the last two years helping Almiron's family in their search. As you can tell, they've long suspected something horrible happened to Emily and little Gabriel. Police did too, so they started keeping close tabs on Paulson. They tracked his phone as it traveled to St. George days after the disappearance. Months later, police would find Emily's Toyota abandoned there, full of her personal property. And today... A judge in Utah County unsealed murder charges filed against Polson, giving Emily's family their first glimpse of the evidence. Seeing the details and the extent of his activities in obvious effort to conceal his crime, selling his car for dirt cheap, pawning her guitar and other effects, being interviewed and having her items still lingering around the house, having driven the Prius after the date that he reported her missing and running away, seeing that he went to St. George and back where the car consequently was discovered. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all, not even the slightest. Police confronted Polson with all of this back in August, but they say he reacted by immediately moving to Hawaii. That's where he was arrested over the weekend, but there's a key piece to all of this that's still unresolved. We have no word on where Emily and Gabriel's bodies might now be.